All right, start of a new video. Got the Tahoe loaded up. Got good buddies, Frank's trailer. The rock lights on. Got a pile of cash. I'm gonna try and buy a side by side. Looking at Kawasaki KRX 1000 from 2020. And everything I've seen makes it look like it's a good deal. Um, this is 11. Eleven thousand dollars. We're gonna go see if we can make it happen. So, uh, yep, yeah, pretty crappy. March second, uh, Saturday morning, six a.m. I'm gonna go buy a toy. So, if we pick it up, I'll take some video of it on the trailer and uh, do the new project. So, uh, stay tuned. Nice day to do this on it. Hadn't I know. Been a day. All the nice days we've had in the last few days. And of course, all right, got loaded up, 11.5, this nice place in West Virginia. So we're gonna get on the road and talk to you soon. All right, left that lady's house, nice lady, selling a side-by-side. -side. Stopped at Chick-fil-A. I see she's got plenty of wheel in there. I don't know why these are so tight always. Nice, good oil. Cool. Um, it's still gonna get oil change when I get home. It's still gonna get maintenance. It's gonna get washed. It's got 2,700 miles. 2,700 miles. Pay 11,000 for it. It's in really good shape. Got windshield, got a roof, sound bar, mirror. It's got green mirrors on it. And they're the ugliest things I've ever seen. So those are coming off. It's got a Super ATV winch. It looks like it's in really good shape. Okay, with the winch controller underneath. It's a good plate. Looks fantastic. No problems, no dents on the suspension. Tires are okay, they're not great, but they're okay. No dents on the A-arms. Real good shape. It might need a little work, but for the price, <coughs> pretty guy, pretty happy. So, uh, I'll get home, get some video of it. Start working on it, clean it up. Inside's pretty good. Seats are not torn or ripped or nothing. It's a full tank of gas, lady said. I don't know if I believe that, but yeah, pretty happy. Door shut good. I think it's a steal. Steal of the year for these. All right. I'll get home, finish the video, do a little ride, something. But so far, very happy. All right, we took a little break from town. We're going through some mountains. Here in southern Pennsylvania. See Tahoe squad a little bit. But it's because it needs those rear airbags fixed. I pulled over. Let it cool down. I was behind a truck. Towing a big trailer and couldn't keep the torque going up big hills. So we're going to let the trans cool down. Check some straps. And uh, yeah. I don't know. Going pretty good. Checking out a new toy. Can't wait to get it home. But yeah, you know, quick update on the road. Everything good. Tahoe's doing really good. It's just, it's a heavy load. And those airbags, you know, squat a little bit. And the trans, you know, still at 190. was, But I'd like it cool down a little bit. It's been running really hard, so I'll give it a couple minutes. But yeah, everything else is good. Straps are good. This thing hasn't moved. So, yeah. See you in the next clip. All right, so we're taking a closer look over at my parents' house. Pulled the air filter. Looks pretty clean compared to the outside. We'll, uh, we'll pull that out and see how it looks. But probably just needs a new one. Looks 
clean on the inside. Looks clean in there. Cool. That's good news. So I get a new filter ordered. This is the OEM Kawasaki one. And uh, keep looking around. All right. It's the next day, day one of owning this thing. So we're going to go through, clean it out. Got some empty smokes, Keystone light, and we're gonna wash up all this. Pull the seats out, but it does have both both drain covers, which is sweet. There's one over there. Got three or four center tabs, which I think is pretty good. So uh, yeah, I gotta start washing. See how it comes out. All right, so we got it pretty cleaned out. Looks a lot better. You can actually see wire colors and what that mess is. Um, next thing I'm gonna do before I put the seat back in is figure out if I can disable seatbelt safety other than that i don't know what else we're gonna do today but at least it's cleaned out let's just start ordered some parts to do full oil change and to replace these mirrors these are junk so um looks like they just trimmed the windshield with a grinder and they did a pretty shit job so i'll clean that up make it so the new mirrors come out there and uh yeah, windshield wiper seems to actually work, which is cool. Um, but yeah, or stuff for oil and diff change and air filter. So, pretty happy. Pretty happy. All right, gonna keep working. All right, quick update. Got the seatbelt disabled. Cut that wire in the middle. Soldered them together with those heat shrink connectors. Seatbelt lights out, so. First step, most important step, disable all the safeties. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it for today. I don't know. Put the seat back in and, uh, I don't know, find something else to do. All right, so I've been working on this. Checked the uh, cooling fans. They came on perfectly, 190 degrees. Let's try and get this winch to work. You see, Super ATV winch seems to have, you know, wireless controller. I've been fighting myself because out and in are backwards. So I crushed this thing in, not noticing. So I pulled it off. We're going to take it to work and flatten it out. But in, which to me means rope in. Is rope out. Out somehow brings the rope in. So I don't really know why I'm doing that. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is backwards. I think this is a solenoid, but I don't, I don't really know. I have to go through and learn how to wire a winch and backtrack, figure out why this was done this way. Because uh, it looks kind of jank anyway. I don't like these connectors. And then one's broke off, it's missing a ground somewhere, so that's good. I don't know, but the winch does work. It's just backwards. Out. I don't know, man. But that's the only problem with it. That's fine. I don't know. All right. I'm going to catch you again in a couple minutes. All right, at work. Got the big press. Trying to flatten this one out. It seemed to work pretty good on this part. Keep hitting it a couple times. I haven't started that one yet, but we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. I might have to flatten it that way, also try and get it square again. So we'll see. All right, so we got the KRX in here. Some parts started coming in for it. Got an air filter, got frog skin covers, oil filter, and new frog skins because these ones are torn and I really don't feel like dealing with them. That's pretty torn. And the other side has a physical tear in them. So we're gonna swap these out and put the the new ones on. Um, I'll do some other things, but that's what the first mod's gonna be. Those frog skins and covers, air filter, oil change, you know, full maintenance this weekend. So uh, yeah, keep watching. All right, so I took that off, the Sinte cover. Got it all cleaned out, nice and clean. 
I'm gonna put those push pins back in. There's six of them, I think. And then we'll put the new air filter cover on. Well, the mesh frog skin and the air filter cover from PVR Customs, or whatever it's called. So, gonna clean the other one. But here we go. All right. So, removing these mirrors. They're actually, I don't know. They're okay. I don't see a brand. I think they just knock off Chinese uh, crappy mirrors. But they're green and they're ugly. So to get them to fit, the previous owner did a little metal work and bent these out. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is just take my uh, grinder and cut that flush, I think. Try and clean it up a little bit because it doesn't look great. So I'm okay with it being cut. I totally understand why he did that, but got to do better work than that. So I'm going to clean that up, see how it looks, and uh, go from there. All right, there's after. You see nice straight line. Cut an angle on that side. Plenty of room for the mirror. Got to smooth it out, make sure there's no burrs on it. Um, and I'll put the new mirror on. And we'll do the same to the other side. So there's after. And that's before with it kind of bent up. You see, that's what they did. They kind of bent it out. And this side's actually better, but I'm still going to make it match. So, all right. See when I get these new mirrors on. All right. I think this is going to wrap up the first video on this thing. Got all the diff fluid changed. It looked great. It was brand new, basically just dumping oil in it. Got the front window removed. Ordered a uh, piece of Lexan to make my own. So I'll do a video on that. Got the frog skin covers on. Got the cooler in the back. This thing's ready to go. So I'll be posting more videos, but it's going to wrap up the first video. Uh, it's kind of sleeting, hailing, I guess. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. So.